Yo, what is going on guys? It's Spitty here and we're back with more 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross and today I'm going to be showcasing off my level 80 Esquinor as my first level 80 in this game. Man, did it take a while to get a level 80, am I right dude? If you guys play this game, you guys know uh, the grind that goes in this game. But yeah, listen, I'm a little mini whale, okay? Costume of Esquinor in the shop and I have to get the war outfit Esquinor, man. Like, listen... It was a must, okay? We gotta take him on PvP. Also, we'll be doing, uh, you know, just a regular, like, raid or something. Uh, just to see how he fares. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that, uh, I do not have the greatest equipment on my Eskinor. Uh, you guys gotta realize I'm a fairly new player, so my equipment is not, uh, up to par with those people that have been playing since, like, day one. Uh, just because I do not have the resources right now to, you know, fully get my Eskinor, like, you know, max equipment and get him like kind of stuff. So, uh, he does have, have equip, uh, attack equipment, but we're going in PvP, and in this PvP, it's really not going to matter, uh, the equipment we use. Because I'm going in non-geared PvP, because geared PvP, I would just get my, uh, butt whooped, honestly. Alright, here we go. So his team consists of Galen, he's got uh, Gilia, and he's got uh, Meliodas, the green one that counters a lot. So uh, my strategy here is going to be to take out Galen first, uh, because if I don't, and I use my rank up skill with Gother, my Gother will get uh, frozen due to his commandment. Uh, so my goal is to take out his Galen as soon as possible. Uh, so yeah, we're doing, we're doing a lot of damage to Galen, so I mean, I believe in like one or two more attacks. We should be, yeah, we should be able to take, out, take him out next turn. Uh, my hopes is that he doesn't use the counter with his Meliodas, uh, because the way I want to take out his Meliodas so I do not get hit with his counters are basically just super him with, uh, what's it called, Escanor. And Escanor should be easily be able to take uh, out uh, Meliodas here with one shot of the super attack. So they're focusing my king. I guess they're worried because of the Petrify. Actually, I'm not sure if this is a bot or a real player either because I know you face a lot of bots in the uh, low tier ranking so uh, yeah I don't know but I don't know if we're facing a bot or not oh no I made a mistake oh no I used my rank up skill no my go through is gonna get frozen no <laughs> I didn't I, I wasn't paying attention I thought my ask oh, oh no you even take him out are you kidding me he lived on one HP that's fine it's fine yo mistakes are made you know it's a learning curve too okay we all learn here together, so uh, it's all good. It's all good. We should be able to take him out this turn uh, easily, and then we should be able to have an ult for next turn, uh, which is very, very good. Okay, um, hmm. yeah, I do want to focus his Lilia too, because she's kind of annoying. She is definitely annoying. Uh, I'm surprised the bot even has the green Lilia. I believe the blue Lilia is way better for PvP, because she does uh, debuff, uh, you know, your ult gauge, but a... Hey, you know, the bot's gotta learn. Hopefully it's a bio or a real player. I don't know. I don't know if it is. Okay, we're gonna heal all the way back up to full. Also, get rid of all our uh, debuffs. Uh, my Gother is still frozen, which uh, does kind of suck. It does kind of suck. Uh, we're gonna take out his Galen this turn, which should unfreeze Gother. Yeah, there we go. Gother is done unfreezing. We healed up basically all the way to full. And I think he's still gonna focus my King because he's afraid of that Petrify. And also the healing is kind of OP. King is really, really good, man. For PvP and PvE, uh, King is very, very good. He's also very good on some raids, especially the uh, Red Demon. Because he can just, you know, petrify and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. Uh, cool. So I'm expecting his Millionaires to go for the counter right here. And then I should easily just take him out with my uh, Escanor ult. And then his King is easily going to fall to my freaking Escanor as well. Because Escanor is just big daddy, big moves, big power. That's what Escanor is. Yeah, yo, Lilia's not gonna do anything. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so that Lilia does... I've never used it before, so she does debuff attack. Okay, that's good to know. So when she does use that uh, attack, she debuffs attack. Okay, so we're gonna focus Miliotis here. He's not even gonna get an ultimate. Uh, we should 100% guaranteed take him out here. Uh, and then next, yeah, I'm gonna do a rank up, and then we're gonna focus his king. And honestly, a level 3 could take him out. Depending, depending on how, if he, if he's 6 star or not. So, this should take him out. Honestly, a level 3, a level 3 attack should take him out. Is it? 
Oh, no, I did 41,000. Okay, I forgot we're not geared. I forgot we're not geared. If, if we were geared, I would have taken him out. I totally forgot we're not geared. I was like, wait. I've seen Escanor do, like, 54k with his, like, level 3. But I, get, I forgot we're not geared. But we should be able to finish off next turn. Uh, we do have Gother's uh, ultimate. Uh, and then we do have two Escanors. We even do have a Petrify as well. So, uh, this man is not moving past this, which is very, very good. Also, after this, I'll be showcasing off Escanor uh, with my gears on a boss rush or boss event uh, type of thing. So yeah, we're gonna be seeing them both geared and non-geared. Uh, yeah, man, dude, I just love this game so much. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's actually amazing how good this game is for it being, um, you know, five months old. There's just so much to do and I love it. This PVP, PVE is great. Everything is great. Yeah, we should be taking him out here with Gother and then Eskina should finish off Lilia. She doesn't have that much HP from what I'm aware of. So that's gonna shift finish this off. Yeah, bop, there we go. All right, so I'll catch you guys with the uh, geared uh, showcase on PVE. All right, bear back. This is a team I currently like to run. I do, or I can replace uh, Lilia or King with my green uh, bond, but uh, that would be just too many green units on the team. And I just like having diversity, and I like using Lilia because she's like literally one of my favorite characters uh, currently. Uh, so, yeah, we're just gonna roll with this. It's been my main team for story as well. I just like the double healing. Uh, basically, we, we almost can never die or lose with this team uh, because it's basically just infinite healing. Uh, Lilia has a heal, so does uh, King, and then my Escanor is just the main uh, big daddy hitter, so he's gonna deal the most uh, damage on this team. Uh, easily outpower him, so let's, let's do this. Alright, so... Uh, we didn't get three cards. Usually what I like to do if I do get three cards of Escanor is just focus one guy. For example, right here, we're going to focus uh, Grandpa right there. And we're going to take him out, so there's no point in me. So I'm just going to link these cards together. Uh, just in case they do get an ult, I'll be ready to uh, take him out. So boom, right there. Uh, initiate Ignite. If you guys do not know, I think I mentioned this already. But you do want to use uh, Escanor's Fireball first or Cruel Sun. And then you want to, um, what is it called, uh, attack him with his regular attack because his ignite, uh, if you do a fireball, right, you get one ignite in the character and that's 10% more damage or, t yeah, 10% more damage on your next attack, uh, which is very, very good. Uh, Alright, so he does have the counter active. I'm going to use this. We're going to move this card here. Boom, perfect. And then I'm hoping to get a petrified next turn. Uh, so we're going to leave it like this. And then we... If we do need to heal, we can heal next turn. Yeah, he's gonna counter me. I actually did a lot of damage. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why, but every, like, boss on these uh, boss raid missions is, like, red. Like, every single one. And it does kind of suck for Escanor. Yeah, Escanor's taking a little damage there, but nothing too much. We should be able to heal all the way back up. Okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, he has two ignites on me. I don't know if uh, Lilia has level two cleanses or not, but we're gonna see anyways. So we're going to do this, we're going to super, and then uh, we are going to do this with Escanor. Hopefully, uh, I'm trying to build up his uh, ult meter up so we can see that. Boom, there we go. We almost healed up to full. And then Lilia's ultimate, boom, takes out that guy. Oh, I should have focused the uh, big dude over there, chubby dude. Oh, we do. Okay, perfect. We take him out. 30k, dude, resisted 30k. Uh, I do want to give my Escanor a uh, critical. Uh, but I do have to buy that gear from the PvP shop. Uh, but I think I have to be in gold uh, tier to be able to buy it. So I am waiting for that. Uh, dude, can I get some Escanor cards? Are we going to heal? I'm just trying to get some Escanor cards. I'm not even going to attack through this. And then I am going to just heal again. Because I do want to get some Escanor cards. So we can get an ultimate with my boy Escanor right there. Boom, that should, we should heal all the way to full. And then we do have uh, an old gauge reducer if he does get a super attack for next turn. Perfect. No Escanor cards still? Are you kidding me? What is going on? Where are my Escanor cards? Why are we only getting King and uh, Lilia? Alright. Oh uh, yeah, he does have his ult, so we're going to do this. Actually, I could petrify him. Can I move my card, please? Thank you. Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to... Use this. We're gonna attack him and petrify him. Perfect. There we go. This should be good. We're gonna take off his old gauge. Boom. No more old for you. 
he is going to counter me, did nothing. And then with King, we're going to petrify uh, Big Boy right there. But he just counter, dude. <laughs> man, I hate Hauser. Only one card, man? Come on. Yo, I'm not leaving until I get an Eskinor ult. Actually, we should be able to get it, so watch. I'm going to do this. Move it. Boom, perfect. That's an ult gauge. Uh, reduce your ult, and then Eskinor, you can attack him. So we should have an ult maybe for next turn. Bop! No ult for you. I'm not using my king's ult because that would have literally finished it off. So my next unit I'm going to try to work uh, to level 80 is going to probably be king. No, it's going to be Demon Meliodas once I get him from the shop. Yeah, Demon Meliodas, definitely. So, uh, let me ult... Let me, let, let's just finish this off. Boom. 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 GG. And the fight is over, boys. Here we go, Escanor. 74,000 resisted. Uh, <laughs> insane. Is Escanor is just so good, man. Boom. And then King should finish this off easily. Come on, King. Show me what you can do. Bop. No, oh, he still lived. Okay. We got a feisty one here. We have a feisty one here. Oh, yeah, he's dead here. <laughs> he's done. He's done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, uh, seven deadly sins. Well, I actually do plan on bringing more, so we're definitely gonna see more uh, from seven deadly sins. But yeah, it's it's over, my boy. It, can, can I attack, please? There we go. Boop, bop. And just in case you somehow live, which you're not going to live, uh, it's it's over. Boom. There we go. Twenty-one k. Bop. Done. GG. I love the battle ask, uh, battle axe Rita too. Look at this, look at this man, dude. He's just a sexy beast. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll show you guys in the next video. Peace.